7 o'clock. 28 degrees. Heading up north. Doing a quick video here. So, for those who don't know, um, we've been talking about getting a lumber mill up north just so that way we can mill our own wood. Uh, the price of wood has gone insanely high since the start of COVID. Uh, everyone is doing home projects. So demand went up and mills were running behind. So like, you know, if you go to Home Depot right now for a two by six by eight, uh, they're actually asking, depending upon if you want to treat it or not, between 10 and $13 for one board. Well, the trees that we have up there, you know, we could mill probably say eight boards per 10 foot section. So that's you know, 16 boards. So when you start doing the math on some of the projects that we have that we're gonna be building up there, well, it's gonna save us hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Yeah, the initial investment's a little higher, but compared to long life term, it's well worth it. So anyway, we, ordered a lumber mill and I'll show you the specs on what it is right now so that way you can kind of see what we're getting. So yeah and on the website it originally says it's supposed to take seven weeks for delivery so we ordered it last week and I get an email Monday night saying that your order has shipped. And I'm like, what the heck? So I, they sent me a tracking number and everything. So as of, as of Monday, it left New York. And as of last night, it was delivered to the local courier uh, and it should be out for delivery today. So. I'm gonna give them a call here in a couple hours to see if I can get an update as to when that's going to be delivered. But in the meantime, obviously this thing's 773 pounds or something like that. I believe that was a ship weight. And we're gonna try to get that thing up there. Obviously I, I'm not gonna have enough time to put it together or anything like that, but that's kind of what the plan is for today. Um, just doing a quick day trip. I'll probably end up staying up there today and then come home tomorrow afternoon and go from there. But the sun's coming up. We've got three and a half hours to go. Locations. Never been to TGK Automotive. Experience quality service on them with 25 hours. Still going. New clients. Go to TGK Auto. Got eight miles to Hinkley. They can actually really good time this morning. Quest to find the perfect Coke flavors that is found. Well, as you can see, I made it back up here. So, a little bit of bad news. With the shipping information that the company for the wood mill sent us, it was for the trucking information to deliver it to the next courier. So when they said that it was supposed to be delivered as of today, uh, they were technically right, but right now it's still frickin' down in Lakeville. From Lakeville, they're sending it up to Duluth, and then from Duluth, there's a Duluth company who is going to be calling me to set up a de actual delivery schedule. And from the sound of it, that's going to be Monday and tu Monday or Tuesday before they physically give me a call. So, needless to say, I got everything up here all ready to go for nothing. So I'll talk with Becca. Since I'm up here, I'm just going to cut down some trees. We'll see how far I can get with the new trail. And uh, I'm not going to haul anything. I'm just going to cut down trees. I'm just going to get them out of the way, and then we'll, we'll pick all that stuff up later. But I don't know. We'll see. we still got a little bit of snow up here, so I'm not even going to be able to get the, um, the lawnmower down here or the trailer, anything like that. If we had a four-wheeler, it would be different, but I'm not going to worry about it. So... We'll see how much I can get done. And if I have any extra time, I'm gonna try to finish off the gate and go from there. But for now, I'm just gonna take a little walk, see if we have anything on the banks that's worth saving. And then if we do, I'll tie it off. All right, 
so this is going to be the start of the next part of the trail. Well, ideally, I was hoping that Kyle and his buddies were going to be able to make it down here this year, but uh, it doesn't sound like that's going to happen, which that's okay. Uh, but yeah, you can definitely see how thick this is. So I'm hoping that I can show you before and after and possibly even during. Well, it's been a while since I've got this done. I actually got the freaking chainsaw stuck. So I had to come up with some really clever engineering. So I've got a tie down pulling the tree back and I'm winching with the come along. So we'll see if this actually works or not. But if it does, that chainsaw should pop right out. And before I break anything else, hopefully. Oh, I got lucky. Blade does not appear to be bent, so. Yay, onto the next tree. So what on the trees that I'm taking down is just dripping. That sucks. But I should be freaking collecting this, but oh well. But I mean, we just have tons of maples up here, it looks like. So, well, good to know from here on out going forward that if we tap these things and if they're coming out like this, I mean, granted, this tree's gonna die because obviously I've got to take it down for the trail, but it's just kind of cool. Let me look at that and but I can see why people collect so much sap out of all these and out of very minimal time so all right so took down some of the trees and cleared out the area but if you remember what this looked like before you could definitely not really see down the hallway and there's some couple of other little trees I still want to take out. But obviously, as you can tell, there's definitely a walkway here now compared to what it used to be. So the downside is that the ground is still kind of frozen, so it's actually thawing now, so it's really hard to actually get my footing. But I've got... This big tree here that I'm gonna take out yet too. Chop that up. And then I was able to get this one dropped. And that made a nice loud sound when it fell. But what's nice is that that's going to be a lot of really good firewood. So I think like this section right here I'm gonna to try to save that for just milling. And, you know, I'm not gonna be able to take that out of here. You know, that's a good 10 foot section right there. But then the rest of it, where it's kind of got bends and curves, I don't know if I'm gonna get really any good, you know, milling wood out of that. So the rest of that, I mean, that's a lot of firewood that I'm gonna be able to get out of that. So I'll be happy with that. So I'm gonna to try to work for another hour we'll see how that goes but i'm already starting to get really tired so we'll go from there i mean if anything i'm probably just going to take down that tree get that chopped up and then i'll start working on this part right here and work from the way back or from the top of the tree back down to the bottom well oh, finally ran out of gas so i brought up one container of the moto mix um i found out a long time ago if you use gas up here that you could actually vapor lock your chainsaw so ever since that happened i actually have just been getting moto mix i usually only go through probably two maybe three you know containers of that a year so i just grab two to three of them and then whenever i need them when i need more I just go get it. Um, for those of you not familiar with what Moto Mix is, is it's a steel gasoline, and it's a pre-mixed pre gasoline for chainsaws, so that way you don't have to worry about it. And it's also a, I believe it's a 93 octane. I'd have to take a look at it. It's either 92 or 93 octane, but 
with uh, chainsaws, you don't want to run any ethanol in them because then it's just going to gum up your carburetor and then you're going to have to bring it in. And now you're going to have to spend a couple hundred dollars on having them worth the shop time unless you know how to do it. But as you can see, I got this really big maple down, which was nice. As I showed you earlier, um, it's still dripping. So I started cutting up as much as what I could. And then the other thing is the ground is starting to thaw, so like my footing is not 100% because underneath all the leaves, it's mud. So you can kind of see, and that's just all mud. So it was very interesting when this big tree fell because I went running and of course I couldn't have the, uh, or I didn't have the best uh, footing, so. But we got quite a bit cut. And we're not doing any stacking or splitting today, obviously, because I was supposed to be up here for the wood mill, but that didn't show up. I haven't even got a phone call on it, so I don't know. We'll see. But this way, at least it wasn't a wasted trip. You can kind of see right down the center there where before, if you remember, you couldn't really see that far. I mean, well, you could see, but you could just tell there was a bunch of smaller little underlings like this, and now they're all gone. So once we get this trail established, at some point we're going to get a tractor with a with a loader and then an excavator on the back. You know, nothing really big, but something where if I need to, I can pick up a, you know, I can pick up a tree. We can flatten level this whole trail out. We can take out all these little tiny stumps as well. And then we just have holes and everything that we need to fill in. So like going back to where that maple is, unless I really wanna kill my chainsaw, well, I'm just gonna take some dirt and everything from over here and you know just dig some holes and then fill it up with the, the front loader of the tractor and then just start filling it in so that way these trails are going to be nice and smooth to go down and that's kind of the whole point to them but it's just going to take some time and for the type of tractor I'm looking at you know if you buy a used one it's anywhere between ten and twenty thousand dollars so if you buy a new one well that's like thirty and I'm not going to do that you know if we lived up here full-time maybe but Obviously, once we start milling wood, well, we're going to need it. We're going to need something to just drag the trees out. I mean, I can do it by hand, but it's going to be more of a pain. So, as you can tell with my footing right here, everything's just wet. It's all fine. So, but that kind of gives you an idea. Once again, looking back down that way, you can definitely tell that there's a trail. So... When I took the short little video this morning, I was pretty much standing right there. So, I don't know, we'll see. But hopefully I can get a call from these guys tonight. If not tonight, then if they can have it here by tomorrow before 11 o'clock, that'd be great. If not, then I've gotta head over. I'm gonna have lunch with my brother and I'm gonna head back home, spend time there for about 30 minutes and then I'm gonna have to go to work, so. I'm tired <laughs> but that's what happens when you come up here well at least when I come up here it's just never-ending I mean we've got 20 acres of just never-ending projects so all right there's something else I want to show you at the top of the driveway I'll catch you in a minute so at the top of the driveway or a little bit south of it I was walking and putting up some posted signs and I noticed that we had some trees that fell. And then I started looking closer. And I see this. Part of a fender of a car. Then the turn signal. And then I started looking at it even closer. And then I backed up and saw that tree. And that tree. So at some point here, someone came through and just cracked 
these trees hard. I mean, this one is, and this is a good sized pine and it just mangled it at some point throughout the winter here. But, so I'm guessing it was a truck, but the other part of that is, you know, there's part down there, there's broken glass right there. There's just crap and debris all over this place. And here's another, it's a tail light. So I don't know if they, maybe they went in backwards. I don't I honestly don't know, no, but either way, someone did not have a good night. Nope, we got a mirror. <laughs> but yeah i just thought some trees fell down and snapped from winter but no uh, apparently someone had a really really bad day so we're just getting ready to tuck myself in it's not that late but i'm tired I'm going to make one more walk down and see if the solar lights are still working and what's working and what's not. So, Otherwise, I've got the truck pretty much packed up. It's been a long day. Again, I'm tired. Beep. My, my, my shoulders are already hurting. So I'm going to head to bed here probably about an hour. But at least it wasn't a complete waste of time. I really wish I would have had that lumber mill up here, but since it's not, at least I got, you know, probably 300 yards of a uh, new trail cut. We'll come up here again in a couple weeks with Becca and the boys, and Uncle Kyle's going to come up here uh, before he heads out, and we'll do another video then. But until then, thanks for watching. Hopefully the mill's going to be up here soon. And we'll go from there. So just checking on these solar lights. They actually kind of look pretty cool. Especially in the winter time. You know, summertime you don't get this. Sorry, I'm trying to keep this as still as what I can, but walking on snow, it's not the easiest. <laughs> Still kind of cool just walking down here and seeing those. All right. Well, again, solar lights look good. We will see you all next time.